welcome. Your presence here is no coincidence. It marks the beginning of a meaningful connection designed to deliver a powerful message from Apostle Joshua Selman right to your doorstep. This message carries the potential to not only bless you, but also ignite inspiration for greatness within you. Open your heart wide and allow your mind to embrace the profound in before we dive deeper. I warmly and do you know hear me do you know that relationships can create not only leverage they can create exemptions it is true there are people today who have owned land they did not pay for houses they did not pay for relationships paid for it who knows you and loves you by reason of your committal and genuine sincere connection and contribution to their lives there are people everybody who is close to you you have hurt and wounded and caused pain life is watching you tonight is a night of repentance change because you are programming woes over your children whilst you are seated there in one minute please lay your hands on your head and say lord grant me the wisdom the wisdom to maintain strategic relationships and then the wisdom to start connecting my children and my children's children to the strategic relationships that have worked for me please pray you are a young man here pray for the grace to build strategic relationships you are an elderly person pray father the grace to maintain the relationships that have helped my success and that my children will have the discipline and the humility to value relationships. Your connections, your relationships. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. A true story. One of these times, I can't remember which, which of the years now, I was trying to process a visa for one of the nations and then when I was doing my biometrics and I just sat in front and a gentleman saw me and was happy he was rejoicing and he said apostle I can't believe it I said what can't you believe I came to get a visa what kind of embarrassment is this do the needful and let me leave this place and he said no let me tell you a story you had come to preach on our campus so 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 years ago and this and that and that and I'm walking in this place right now and he was laughing he got up and went and spoke something to a woman i don't know what they discussed but he returned back and i laughed i said lord you see how easy some things can be i've shared with you an old story here when we're in zaria we're told that story that some people were a gentleman was going to nda and then because of the height requirement he didn't match the height requirement, so they disqualified him. And being saddened, he went and because his father knew the then late Emir, he went to him and said, Sir, they disqualified my son. And then he did not even write. The then Emir, we were told, said he should go back and tell the commandant that the Emir has added his height. That's right. Who can add your height? in this wicked world that we live in please i hope as you are laughing you are taking seriously what i'm saying yes some of you as soon as you finish service even if someone is stretching his hands you can look at him from head to toe no you are not my class be careful be careful don't forget that as tattered as they are looking something came on them in that service treat people with honor treat people with dignity don't treat only wealthy and blessed people with dignity you are a hypocrite treat everybody with honor and dignity the apostle he cannot speak english no problem still treats them with honor relationships relationships number four inheritance number four that a good man leaves for his children's children. Are you ready? Physical assets. Now that's what most people call inheritance. Physical assets. Your cash, 
your properties your businesses your estates your cash properties businesses estates in as much as i challenged it as being the ultimate thing you give it is also worthy of transference you can transfer physical things proverbs 19 4 let's walk quickly media proverbs chapter 19 and verse 4 he said did i get that right 19 4 oh dear wealth make many friends that's not what i'm looking for please help me my apologies numbers 27 let's look at 6 to 11 i must have missed a number or so numbers 27 let's start from verse 6 to 11 All right and the lord spake unto moses saying we're reading to 11 this and that all of these people thou shalt surely give them a possession of an inheritance among their father's brethren pay attention and thou shalt cause the inheritance of their father to pass unto them reading to 11 and thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel saying if a man die and have no son then ye shall cause his inheritance to pass to his daughter this is the law of inheritance verse 9 and if he have no daughter then shall ye shall give his inheritance to his brethren verse 10 and if he have no brethren then ye shall give his inheritance unto his father's brethren last verse and if his father have no brethren then ye shall give his inheritance unto his kinsmen that is next to him of his family and he shall possess it and it shall be unto the children of Israel a statute of judgment as the Lord has commanded so there is a place for transferring physical estate and resources hallelujah I can tell you there are people whose lives have been accelerated because they had the privilege of receiving an inheritance it is not until an individual dies you can provide leverage of resources for instance I know people who haven't trained their children haven't helped them they gave these children the gift and the blessing of a house and say a car discipline them and gave them do you know that if you give your child a house and a car under um, for as long as you discipline that child and help the child to understand you have given that child a big leverage for an average person do you know for an average young man you know how many years it would take to build a house and to buy a car so when you give people physical things it is also a blessing to them Joshua chapter 11 let's read from verse 15 if God is helping you shout amen, amen. Joshua 11 and verse 15 please pay attention as I read as the Lord commanded Moses his servant so did Moses command Joshua and so did Joshua he left nothing undone that the Lord commanded Moses so what did he do 16 Joshua took all that land the hills and all the south country and all the land of Goshen and the valley and the plain the mountain of Israel and the valley of the same we're reading to 23 even from the Mount Halak that goes on to Seir even to all of those mountains to Lebanon Hamon and all their kings he took and smote them and slew them 18 Joshua made war a long time with those kings there was not a city that made peace with the children of Israel save the Hivites the inhabitants of Gibeon all order they took in battle 20 for it was of the Lord to harden their hearts that they should come against Israel in battle that he might destroy them utterly and that they might have no favor but that it might destroy them as the Lord commanded Moses next verse watch this now and at the time came Joshua and cut off the Anakims from the mountains from Hebron Debir, Anab and all the mountains of Judah and from all the mountains of Israel he says Joshua destroyed them utterly with their cities next verse 
there was none of the Anakims left in the land of the children of Israel only in Gaza and in Gath and in Ashdod there remain next verse please it says so Joshua took the whole land according to all that the Lord said to Moses hear this Joshua gave it for an inheritance unto Israel according to their divisions by their tribes and the land rested from war please look at me let me challenge especially every man here as much as God grants you grace let me not put you under pressure but please make sure that when God gives you the gift of time be able to justify it by using the favor of God your value your relationships in putting something physical together that can provide a leverage to a responsible child hallelujah there are many young people in let me tell you why prosperity is not perpetuated especially in africa because when the an average young man starts in life he does not start from zero he starts from minus minus means he will pay the price of the parents carelessness then when he's 40 or 50 that's when he arrives at zero and then by the end of his life he now makes the same mistake demons and spirits will come and add to bring it to minus again then he will add he will give his child there are regions in this nation that have a leverage of perpetuating wealth or have a track record because they continue to build one upon another when you go to Israel, you go to Europe, you go to America, you will find out that some of these people, they have businesses and estates that are 200 years old, 300 years old, 150 years old. The founders are long gone, but they gave the estate. Don't think about yourself alone. A good man, so says scripture, leaves an inheritance to his children's children. If you can't give them a house, give them land. If you can't give them land, at least let there be some money. I submit to you that establishing yourself as a young man in our world today with the dignity of kingdom integrity will require the grace of God. Go and ask builders how much is one block? How much is one bag of cement? How much is a plot of land in a city like Abuja here? And in many cosmopolitan cities an average young man respectfully speaking who is receiving say a hundred thousand a hundred and fifty with the dignity of kingdom integrity without corruption without anything and minus any other leverage it would take God for that gentleman to be established do you agree with me by the time he's being established his children are already teenagers and that suffering will cut them short they may not be able to go to school at a good pace this is how people continue to lag again and again but in the name of jesus after this discussion may that grace that grace that will add favor to everything you are doing to accelerate your establishment may that grace rest upon you hear me you see the reason why when i'm praying for favor you should receive because by the natural course of things as far as our world today has presented itself you must play games and cut corners to be able to be established early physical assets it is not unscriptural even if it will require a parent denying themselves certain levels of comfort to provide that leverage may god bless i know that it is men's men's today is um, father's day and bless the men but may god bless both men and women who have paid the price to at least give their children something there are people who never had the privilege of going to school but mama will say i even if it means me frying something by the roadside to give my children that leverage may god bless you for that sacrifice there are elderly people respectfully speaking who are selfish they would rather the generations ahead of them perish provided they will have momentary comfort no
physical things can be a blessing if God can help you and you can give your child a car or give your child a house or give your child some kind of physical assets to help and provide a leverage provided the first things are done convictions and the rest that now becomes a blessing if the prodigal son was wise enough to collect other things alongside the physical blessings he would not have had to return back in shame but he collected physical things alone hallelujah let me encourage you here if there is any parent father or mother in your life whether spiritually physically or by adoption who has provided any kind and any form of physical leverage make it a duty until the day you see Jesus to honor them in the secret and in the open there are many of you here by the privilege you know God has granted your parents and your loved ones to be financially disposed and they have provided all kinds of leverage for you please do not take it for granted hallelujah do not take it for granted there are people here casually your father just bought you a car and gave you your father just bought a three-bedroom flat and gave you and some of us with our attitude of ingratitude can turn and say what is i thought i will have another one whereas there's somebody who is praying and say lord even if i can start with one room i am still grateful perhaps at the end of this service some of you may need to extend text messages communicating gratitude to your loved ones to say i sat down in church today and just thinking about my life i want to say thank you for the money you gave me it stopped me from becoming a prostitute thank you for the car you gave me it stopped me from becoming a 419er and a fraudster some of us may need to go back to our loved ones some of us may need to go back through history and say thank you to certain people who provided that physical leverage let's do a quick recap before i give you the final one has god helped you tonight inheritance number one your convictions inheritance number two your name inheritance number three your relationships inheritance number four your physical assets are you ready for number five inheritance number five your mantle and your anointing this for me is the master inheritance that you can transfer hmm. only a shoe will reign forever to his kingdom there'll be no end there are names there are titles there are legends and tales of strength but only Yeshua will reign forever to his kingdom there'll be no end. There are names, there are names, there are titles, there are titles, there are legends and tales of strength. Only Yeshua, only Yeshua will reign forever. me beyond anything physical that makes a man there are spiritual qualities that men carry that distinguish them in life and destiny please I want you to pay attention every man that is made genuinely made there is a spirit factor that is responsible for all that you see manifest There is no man who is just made from the resources of this realm alone. As vast and as diverse as they are, if you last in relevance and you make any constructive impact in this life, part of the resources that must have made you you must have been outsourced from a realm that is higher than this dimension. Behold, I show you a mystery. 
let me show you something that will surprise you genesis 25 <laughs> no matter what you give anybody you seek to succeed you you have not truly blessed them if you tr if you do not transfer the mantle the spirit the unction and teach them the secrets of maintaining it you don't only transfer mantles and anointings you must teach them your secret with God that kept it please pay attention we're about to pray now Genesis 25 the entire text is from verse 1 to 11 but we may jump a few places for time's sake follow carefully I'll begin my reading then again Abraham took a wife remember this was when Sarah passed on the Bible says they brought him another woman called Keturah verse 2 and she bare him Zimran Jokshan Median Median and all those names verse 3 in total Abraham had about eight children that we know six from Keturah and then one from Sarah and then one from Hagar are we together verse 4 now okay he's just talking about let's jump to verse 5 I'm saving time the Bible says everybody please read it one to read does this look like something you saw in the parable remember uh, in the the story of um, and Abraham gave all that he had unto Isaac verse 6 but to the sons of the concubines which Abraham had he gave what Wow Abraham gave all that he had to the one he knows is a son of covenant and promise but to the rest he called them and gave them gifts and sent away from Isaac his son the Bible says while he yet lived eastward unto the east country read seven and these are the days of the years of abraham's life which he lived a hundred and three score and 15 years jump to 11 please verse 11 and it came to pass after that the de after the death of abraham that god blessed how many what of the rest how many sons did you read that he had and now the Bible says after Abraham died God blessed his son Isaac what of the rest what did he give Isaac that he did not give the rest hmm. Genesis 26 from verse 12 please give us New King James Version if we can find that Genesis 26 and verse 12 there was something Abraham gave Isaac that the rest did not have the Bible say he gave them gifts but to Isaac he gave all that he had everyone please read with me we're reading from verse 12 and then I will continue ready one to read then Isaac sowed in that land and reaped in that same year and the Lord he did not sow that same year because he was the only one who sowed. Many people sowed just like him. But what was on his head was now controlling what was around his life. Verse 13. Be patient and read. One to read. And the man began to prosper and continued prospering until he became very what was on his head brought him what he had now in 14 go to 14 what did he have of flocks and possessions of herds and a great number of servants so the philistines he gave his sons gifts but he gave this boy a mantle he said this is all that made me me go with it you may go empty but you cannot remain empty with this on your head verse 15 we're reading to 16 I'm saying this because this night something is going to come upon your life 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, the Philistines had stopped all the wells which his father's servants had dug in the days of Abraham his father, and they had filled them with earth. Verse 16. It says, Abimelech said to Isaac, Go away from us, for you are much mightier. That means there is something you can receive. While you are receiving it, your hand is still empty. Your bank account is still empty. But destiny begins to rejoice and say, you got something. You got something more than money. You got something more than relationships. You got something more than a name. I reserve this to be the last. Because there are few people who ever receive this. Hear me, whether for men of God or business people or captains of industry, this is the mystery behind the inability for sons to reproduce what is on their fathers. They are looking for physical things, but they never cease to carry that one factor. Ah, I sense an anointing already. He gave Isaac all that he had. Genesis 27, please. Genesis 27, we're about to pray. Please be sensitive. Genesis 27, we'll begin our reading from verse 1. We'll read 1 to 7. Everybody, please watch. Please, let me have your attention. Don't be distracted. If you are distracted with this story, it's an attack. Just listen carefully. And it came to pass that when Isaac was old and his eyes were dim so that he could not see, he called Esau his eldest son and said unto him, My son. And he said, Behold, here am I. We're reading to seven. He said, Behold, now I am old. I know not the day of my death. Next verse. Now therefore take, I pray thee, thy weapons, thy quiver and thy bow and go out to the field and take me some venison next verse and make me savory meat such as i love and bring it unto me that i may eat that my soul may bless thee before i die verse 5 and rebecca heard when isaac spake to esau his son and esau went to the field to hunt for venison and bring and to bring it verse 6 and rebecca spake unto jacob her son saying behold i heard thy father speak to esau thy brother saying bring me venison and make me savory meat that i may eat and bless you before the that bless you before the lord before my death now jump for sake of time to verse 18 I want to show you a very deep mystery the highest form of inheritance that can be transferred and he came unto his father and said my father and he said here am i this is jacob now who art thou my son and jacob lied to his father i am esau thy firstborn i have done according as thou badest me arise i pray thee sit and eat of my venison that thy soul may bless me next verse and Isaac said unto his son, How is it that thou hast found it so quickly, my son? And he said, Because the Lord thy God brought it to me. He's lying, no? as advised by his mother. And Isaac said unto Jacob, Come near, I pray thee, that I may feel thee, my son, whether thou be my very son Esau or not. Reading to 29, 22. And Jacob went near unto Isaac his father, and he felt him and said, the voice is Jacob's voice, but the hands are the hands of Esau. And he discerned him not because his hands were hairy and his brother Esau's hands. So he blessed him. 24. Look at, he said, Are thou my very son Esau? And he said, I am. Watch this now. And he said, Bring it near to me, and I will eat of my son's venison, that my soul may bless thee. And he brought it near to him, and he did eat, and he brought him wine. 
and he and he drank 26 and his father said unto him come near now and kiss me my son 27 and he came near and kissed him and smelled the smell of his raiment and blessed him and said see the smell of my son is as the smell of a field which the Lord had blessed 28 therefore God give thee of the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth and plenty of corn and wine next verse let people serve thee and nations bow down to thee he said be lord over thy brethren and let thy mother's sons oh 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 bow down to thee cursed be everyone that cursed thee and blessed be he that blessed thee verse 30 and it came to pass as soon as Isaac had made the end of blessing Jacob and Jacob was yet scarce gone out of the presence of Isaac his father that Esau his brother came from his hunting watch this and he also had made savory meat and brought it unto his father and said unto his father let my father arise and eat of his son's venison that thy soul may bless me next verse and Isaac his father said unto him who art thou and he said I am thy son thy firstborn Esau 33 and Isaac trembled very exceedingly and said who where is he that had taken venison and brought it to me and I have eaten of all before thou camest and I have blessed him and yea he shall be blessed it's a law I've released it already now watch this 34 when Esau heard the words of his father the Bible says he cried with a great and exceeding bitter cry and he said unto his father bless me even me also my father verse 35 and he said thy brother came with subtlety and had taken away where is the blessing and how do you take it away because he did not carry any physical thing is it not just to speak couldn't he speak again ah there is more to the realm of the spirit than you see how can a gentleman just cry a matured adult crying and the father said sorry so it's not about repeating words there was something that had already come on jacob let's finish to 36 and he said is not he rightly named jacob for he had supplanted me these two times number one he took away my birthright and behold now he had taken away my blessing and he said has thou not reserved a blessing for me even one can i tell you this believe me when i tell you what is on your head is what controls what is around your life there are many people who ha whose hands are full but their heads are empty and easily what is in your hands can evaporate real inheritance is not the physical things you carry the conviction of the one before you the name that he gives you the relationships that he gives you the physical assets which is the least and then the greatest is the mantle and the grace that turn him you will hear the stories of people especially in the body of Christ you will hear a man of God tell you when God called me I could not even speak English and today he has a ministry around the world brothers and sisters it takes more than hard work there are spiritual forces that may have come to partner with such a person there are people who came to this Abuja they did not have up to 100 naira but their mama sent them from the village saying i don't have money but i once helped missionaries in 1971 and they said may my children be blessed my son go with this blessing and that gentleman will carry a box looking like an arm robber and as soon as he steps in abuja 
the forces of the spirit start mobilizing themselves hear me this is why some people do not fear it is not what is on their hand it is what is on their head that yea i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil hear me when i tell you i am a product of many anointings this is what i mean i have secured the blessing the sworn blessing of many people hold on do you see why they took jesus to the temple immediately he was born they took him to the temple and met anna the prophetess she spoke over him met simeon the prophet spoke over him they said now jesus you can go we are, we guarantee you will succeed was our father in the lord bishop david Oyeriko who said he was somewhere in the u.s and the lord cut short his meeting and said return back and make my people rich he didn't give them any physical money but he came back with an anointing that he can declare and say be blessed and you will hear that somebody did not apply for a job and yet they called him because thou anointest my head with oil but i see the results of my cup you don't anoint my cup you anoint my head but it's my cup that runs over listen believe me sometimes i wish i have the liberty to share testimonies but in many regards it will sound like arrogance i remember years ago a man of god prayed a prayer for me i met that man and i greeted him and i prayed an elderly man and he just said a prayer i i i i, I was it, it took a long time to say amen because he laid hands on me and he said apostle he said may god create a problem that only you can solve i said ah no why i'm somebody who is for the body i don't like all these kinds of things how can a man pray that kind of prayer you've heard my story that i was in just many years ago and i went to go and buy sugar cane listen true story and there were two old women who were trying to buy i think sugar cane it was not more than 100 naira i pleaded with them i said you are my parents i'm your child please give me the privilege of paying for you they said no i said let me pay and when i paid they began to bless me and one of the women blessed me in hausa she said my son forever walk upon gold men are not just made by circumstances there are spiritual investments that men carry I've shared with you my stories of my encounters with the mantles upon God's generals. I, I don't just come and make empty noise. No. Now you understand what happened when Jesus appeared to me. I've shared with you my story. When he appeared to me, he never gave me anything physical, but he stretched his hands and light from the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, that light entered into me, that surge of power and that sort of grace please help them i came here tonight to redefine inheritance for you inheritance is not cars and houses no that is the least inheritance is not just estates you have not helped your son let me tell you if the only thing you give him is a car and a house armed robbers can steal the car they can demolish the house but can you give something that cannot rust cannot be destroyed hear me he gave the remaining children gifts but he gave isaac everything he had 
and yet there was no Isaac carrying a truckload, calling a truck. There are many young people who have been praying for their parents to die. Lord, let them die so I can get the two-bedroom flat. Don't insult your destiny. What was upon your father that made him to never beg? That's what you should look for. Not three-bedroom flats. Not two-bedroom flats. There are, shamefully, I say it with all due respect, there are siblings and family members fighting for years and decades over mundane properties, not knowing that if you receive what made the men themselves, you can change the tides. There are people today who do not see eyeball to eyeball. This car is for me. This house is for me. That is the least of it. We're about to pray. I came tonight full of the spirit. I want to release something from my spirit. Believe me, help them. Honestly, I came from the depth of my spirit that something will be placed upon your head that will so turn your life around. We're wrapping up. Two keys for receiving from fathers. Let me give you two biblical keys. You want to receive from a father, a spiritual father, a physical father, a financial father, a political father, any kind of father. There are two keys. Number one, the first key that controls receiving from fathers is honor. The first key. You will never, this is why our generation of young men do not succeed because we have institutionalized this honor. We see it as a thing of pride. Young people who have not produced anything, they've not raised anybody, they've not changed any life, but we can sit down and mark the scripts of fathers and dare to criticize. Every father deserves your honor, even if you see their nakedness. The Bible says Noah's sons they saw their nakedness and one called his brothers to come and laugh even though he was drunk when he got up he knew they were looking at him there are some things that are there and the other one moved backwards and covered him and he got up and cursed some of the sons two keys number one honor Malachi chapter 1 we'll read 6 to 8 fire is going to fall here right now Malachi chapter 1 from verse 6 to 8 it says a son honored his father and a servant his master if then I be a father where is mine honor and if I be a master where is my fear saith the Lord God of hosts O priest that despise my name and ye say wherein have we despised your name we're reading to 8 ye offer polluted bread upon my altar and ye say, wherein have we polluted thee? In that ye say, the table of the Lord is contemptible. Verse 8. And if ye shall offer the blind for sacrifice, is it not evil? And if ye offer the lame and the sick, is it not evil? Offer it now to your governor. Will it be pleased with thee? Or accept thy person, saith the Lord of hosts. Can I tell you this? Do you know why Jacob, Isaac, already had flocks, but he said, the one I want to eat is the one you go and get, not the one at the back of the house. Why would he have flocks and herds and now tell his son, carry your weapons of war. I want the one that came from your effort. Place value on it. Let me eat. Let your honor for me turn to joy. Because that blessing from my spirit is only released through joy. There are many children today who are carrying curses from their parents, not demons. Because they've spent their lives causing pain to their parents. Sometimes we ship all kinds of things in the name of westernization. And you see children insult their parents, insult any kind of person. And... I, I'm saying this respectfully speaking young people whether in this country or across Africa 
this is one of the mysteries behind the hard life of young people we have no honor at all for parents not just physical parents anybody can get up and just insult anybody no you will carry courses in successions i am certain that the sermons you've embraced have been a wellspring of blessings lifting your life and igniting a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve God. We extend a heartfelt invitation for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, ensuring you remain connected and never miss any upcoming videos by activating the notification bell. Your subscription transcends a mere click. It symbolizes a dedication to continual spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled odyssey with us as our channel strives to become a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and steadfast believers. We staunchly believe in the transformative prowess of God's Word, and our objective is to disseminate messages that deeply resonate with the essence of your soul. Become a part of our community, subscribe, and let the radiant light of divine wisdom, your presence is integral to this uplifting journey, and may the abundant blessings of God overflow in every facet of your life. Amen. Stay connected with us across all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel and explore more on our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Gratitude fills our hearts and may God's abundant blessings continue to grace your life abundantly.